What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to put together your quadiction gate. It's pretty easy, but if you don't have instructions, it can take you a little bit more time than necessary. All you're going to need is what's in the bag, which is the poles, your canvas, and the elbows that attach it all together. And optionally, you're going to need tape. So the tape is optional, but highly recommended because the way this ships to you is tent pole style. You attach it like that, and you build it all the way out. And once it's already put together and inside of your gate, the friction from the bend does keep it together, but if you want to bulletproof your quadriction gates, make sure that in the middle of a race day and you crash into it, you don't want them popping out for some reason, that's when you get the tape involved. Now I prefer the Gorilla duct tape. Um, it's superior to just regular duct tape. I use it for everything. You can get a giant roll of it for pretty cheap on Amazon, link below. But any tape will work. Even the electrical tape you have on hand will most likely work. I just prefer to go with a little bit higher quality so I don't have to redo it later on. To get started, you're going to need six pieces of tape about this size. You can do a little bit smaller. If you're using electrical tape, you're just going to need a little bit longer strand. And then on each joint where they attach, on the side that it actually is going in, you just take the tape and you wrap it around. Make sure it has a nice snug fit. This way, even when there's no friction from the bend, it's still it's not going to come out. Especially when there's a bend, there will be no coming out. So six pieces on each joint. And when you're done, it's gonna look like this. And it's all complete. So six pieces, and it's ready to go. On to the next part. Next, you're gonna lay the canvas out with logos facing upwards and the black trim in the middle. Make sure it's nice and flat. This will make the next part very easy. All right, I want you to note that there is two different size poles, a long pole and a short pole. There's also two different size sides to this gate. The quadriction size, which is the big side, the five by five and the RMRC side, which is the smaller side, the 5x4. So I'm sure you can guess which pole goes where, but just to be sure, the short pole goes on the RMRC side, the long pole goes on the quadriction side. You're gonna take the pole, and to the outside of the canvas, so the side, the opposite of the black trim, that's where you're gonna insert the pole. So go on the outside of the button. Don't let the wind defeat you. The wind is your enemy. Same thing on the quadriction side. Outside of the button, towards the outside, away from the black trim. Once it's through, you're gonna take the elbow piece, which is connected by the strap in between both of them. You're gonna find the side with the strap, and this is gonna be the side that goes on the RMRC side. So attach. And then you're gonna attach the other side. Pull the canvas down a little bit, It'll help you get the angle you need to get the quadriction side on. And a little pro tip, the strap, make sure the strap is pulled out towards the corner, otherwise it'll wrap around the other side and that causes problems when you're out setting your gates up. Once you have one side on, run the strap all up in your hand to keep it flat and then have the elbow, elbow pointing outwards, so like a triangle going upwards, and then walk down the RMRC side. And I mean literally walk down it, like step on it. This will help you control the bend because you're putting a lot of tension on this pole. And so if you control the bend, you go all the way down. So seriously, keep that in mind. You're putting a lot of tension on these poles. When you're bending them, you can poke an eye out. So you should probably be wearing protective glasses. Shout out to Strix. Once you're on the other side, you're gonna connect the same side with the strap to the RMRC side. Again, keep in mind, keep your stake pulled outwards of the elbow. And now we're done. We got this set up. Now you gotta do is set your second one up, get out, and start practicing. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the gates. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and as well as RMRC's YouTube channel for updates of all sorts of things. Happy flying! Wait, before you go, if you ever unfold these and the logo's on the opposite side, think of it kinda like a Jacob's Ladder or a magic trick. Just fold it back down and then unfold it the opposite direction, like so. This is supposed to go smoother, <laughs> like so. And you got the logo on the right side. All right, make sure to subscribe. Peace.